This video is part of the series promoting the sustainable use of medical oxygen. Today we will be introducing the ISA tank. Liquid oxygen can be stored in special containers known as ISA tanks, thermotanks, or cryogenic tanks. They are available in various sizes, depending on the amount of oxygen that needs to be stored. This amount can be determined by analyzing how much is required for the hospital's work processes and considering the frequency with which the gas is administered. These tanks have special characteristics, and can store very hot substances as well as very cold substances such as liquefied oxygen, at a temperature below minus 183 degrees Celsius, as explained in the previous video. The tank is composed of two main parts, an external tank and an internal tank that actually contains the liquid oxygen. Thermal insulation is placed between the tanks and the air between them is removed to keep the liquid oxygen from heating up as a result of outside temperatures. The tank contains oxygen in two different states, the liquid state, where the temperature is below minus 183 degrees Celsius, and the gaseous state, where the temperature is above minus 183 degrees Celsius which is oxygen's boiling point. Instruments attached to the body of the tank showed the amount of oxygen inside. With the three measuring instruments, vapor pressure, hydrostatic pressure and a telemetry system that indicates the percentage of the tank volume containing oxygen. There are usually two pressure gauges. The first measures the static pressure of the oxygen that is vaporized in the tank. Since high pressures are involved here, the unit of measurement is usually kgf per square centimeter, kPa, or psi. The second pressure gauge usually has a larger diameter and measures the hydrostatic pressure of the oxygen that is in the liquid state inside the tank. This allows us to infer the mass of oxygen contained in the tank. Because hydrostatic pressure is relatively low, units of measurement such as inches of water or millibars are used. It is the hydrostatic pressure in the tank that allows us to carry out the entire pharmacological, administrative, and financial control process associated with medical oxygen. The tank also has overpressure protection systems in the form of safety valves and rupture discs. It is important to make sure that all measuring instruments and safety devices are calibrated and undergo preventive and corrective maintenance procedures when needed. The best place to install a tank is somewhere open, shaded, away from buildings, and where there is little movement of people. After storage, the liquid oxygen is transformed into a gas to be made available to the hospital. This can be done with a vaporizer, but that will be the subject of the next video in this series on medical oxygen that we are presenting to you. If you have questions, you can contact the PEHO Technical Group on oxygen at gto2 at peho.org. Thank you for watching this video through to the end.